Vlogineers. Today we're going to unbox and build the Perpetual Calendar from KiwiCo. If this looks cool to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. This is part of the Eureka Crate series, and this will be our second box from this series. We've already made a wooden ukulele, and you can watch that video by clicking up here. So let's open up the box. Okay. Um, oh, so there's a... Uh... Um, okay. He, here's the perpetual calendar building book. Yes. Uh huh. So this tells you all the steps. So on this. How to build. So this might be our finished product. All right. So let's open up the booklet to see what's inside. So this first page tells a little bit about the history of calendars and what some of the months mean why a day is 24 hours long and why there's seven days in a week and how some cultures do it differently. This is all the parts that are included in the crate. So when we build the perpetual calendar, there's going to be four parts to the building, parts A, B, C, and D. Uh, part A is to build the number tumbler. Part B is to build the day tumbler. Oh, so first we'll start with the number and then the day and then the month, the month dial and then we'll connect the tumblers. Build stats. So the key components are the gears, tiles, wheels, and axles. I'm reading this. The skills we'll need is wood assembly, sorting, and sequencing. I can do The complexity that. is medium. That's like the same as the ukulele. And then the time is 1.5 hours. Right. I love assembling stuff. Yes. Okay, hopefully this isn't too hard, brother. It and won't. Then Okay, so we're going to build the perpetual calendar starting with part A. Part A, build the number tumbler. Yeah. Okay. When you turn this, it moves the day of the month forward. All right, and then there's going to be, whoa, 14, 14 steps. Whoa. Okay. Okay, before we do step one, I forgot to show you all the pieces. So there's some wooden parts over here, some really small wooden parts also. And then there's some more over here. I think this is for the outside of the numbers. Or yeah, they're like square or rectangle shaped. Mm -hmm. There's a packet here with miscellane the, miscellaneous mm -hmm. stuff. But you can see a dial with the months of the year here. Oh, wooden plank. Oh, more wooden things. And then, some... yeah. All right, so step one, we need to find the blue stuff. Okay. They said that we can use either the blue or the red. I prefer the blue. Not oh, here, I found it. So. You missed one. So there's some blues and some, red. and some reds. Should we do? We could like mix and match or something. Oh yeah, we can do half and half. Okay, so step one is to lay out the odd numbers in order. So we'll start with one up here. And then we could do a three from here. Three, and then find the five over here. Okay, so it looks like this might take a while to sort everything. So we're gonna put this in time lapse, but when we come back, we should have all the numbers sorted out in odd numbers. So we have sorted the number tiles so that the odd numbers go one, three, five, seven, nine, all the way till 29. Step two. We need to get this wooden thingy. Get the number one. Fold okay, them. so what we're going to do is we're going to fold it. Oh. oh, they fit perfectly onto one side. Okay, and then we need to get these things and put on the outside cover so then it won't flip back on. Okay, so now the things won't flip. So this is what it looks like, and then you can see on the back there's an even number. And we're going to do this for the rest of the tiles, and then, yeah, that's going to be like 14 more. We've finished inserting the tiles into the frame. So you can see we kind of mix and match the colors to make it every other color. And yeah, it's time for step five. We need to get these two wooden pieces and then this wooden piece. We're just connecting the wooden pieces. And boom, we're done with step five. That's the easiest step yet. 
There we go. Welcome to Step class. six. We're going to get a sticky pad, which is sticky on one side and spongy on the other side. And we're gonna get this tile. Okay, and then I'm going to stick these together. Okay, and then I'm going to Okay, I did it. Woo! That was the hardest step yet, I said. Okay, so, that was yeah. step six, and I got this piece through. And um, step seven is I'm going to put this and insert it in between. We need to get the numbers one through 15. One through 15. One and Three. stack them. I'm gonna put this over here. One faces the window and we'll lie it down. Oh, I'll hold this. Okay, there we go. Slowly flip the number tumbler end over end. The numbers should advance in order from one to two to three and so on. Flip through to make sure the numbers are all in order. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We have a number one, two. Yep, it's a two. It's a three. It's a three. Okay, that's good, we did it. Time for part B, build the day tumbler. So we have finished assembling the perpetual calendar and I'm pretty sure that we did it correctly. Yeah, I'm really impressed works. with this thing uh, because even though you have to manually change the dates, it's still really cool how this mechanism works. So after you do parts A, B, C, and D, there's still more to the book. If you notice something's not right, you can go over to troubleshooting and then what else? Yeah, okay. This page tells you all about the design of the perpetual calendar. This tells you about the Geneva Drive and how every all the mechanisms work. History of design. Some fun facts about calendars. And then there's a design challenge. So that's all for the Eureka Crate Maker's Guide Perpetual Calendar. Once again, if this looks cool to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Bye-bye!